Hi, I'm Nigel. I'm going to show you an overview of a new MIDI tool for Ableton Live 12. Subdivisions is a Max for Life transformation MIDI tool for Ableton Live 12 suite or standard with Max for Life installed. It is designed for changing the properties of notes depending on their positions on the grid. It will only apply changes to notes with a starting time close to a chosen subdivision value like 1 4th, 1 8th, 1 16th, and so on. They can be the old notes on beat, the even notes off beat, or both. The properties changes available are pitch, velocity, position, duration, chance, and velocity deviation. They can be applied in relative, absolute, or randomized modes. This MIDI tool can also delete, mute, or unmute selected notes. Subdivisions is useful to add feel to MIDI clips by having precise control of the separation between the on beats and the off beats, also known as swing, and the dynamics between them. You can make a clip groove, accent certain notes, move the twos and fours ahead or behind the beat, quantize the starting and ending time of the notes separately, make two MIDI clips play in the pocket, and more. With MIDI clips on a loop, Subdivisions can apply chance and velocity deviation only to the off bits, for example, leaving the on bits without changes or with different values. Subdivisions consist of two sections. The upper section is for the settings. Here, you choose one of the four modes and the subdivision value to apply the changes. The bottom section is for changing the six properties. You enable the ones you want to change and set their corresponding values. For a quick demonstration, I'm going to use this simple two-bar drum beat made with the pencil tool. It has closed hi-hat, kick and snare, all quantized and with full 127 velocity. First, I'm going to make changes only to the hi-hats notes, so I select them. In subdivisions, I choose relative as the mode. Change the subdivision value to 1 8 and every even note. The range sets the accuracy to detect the notes to be changed if they are not exactly quantized on the subdivision line, like when we record MIDI with a MIDI controller. I'll leave it on 25%. Enable the velocity parameter and reduce its value. I'm also going to increase the velocity deviation so every time the loop repeats, a different velocity will be played only to the offbeats hi-hats. To commit the changes we just made, click an empty space in this clip. This drum sampler has different samples for the hi-hats when it's hit with the tip of a drumstick. Right now, all hits are with the shank of the drumstick or C-sharp 3. To change the offbeats to a tip sound, we need to move them to note G3. I select again only the hi-hats and change the mode to absolute. Under pitch, I type G3 and enable the pitch button. The offbeats are now changed to G3. To commit the changes, click again an empty space in this clip. Now without selecting any notes in the clip, I go back to the relative mode. I enable the position button and move all the off bits a little bit. This includes the hi-hats and kicks. Click an empty space in the clip to commit the changes. I want to randomize only the on bits, which includes the hi-hats, snare and kick. This time I'm going to select all notes except the first beat. Change to randomize mode and select old. Enable the position button and add a random value. Click an empty space in the clip to commit the changes. Now let's hear the final result with a bass line. You can later apply other changes in any combination you want. Subdivisions also has a delete mode. Here you can choose to delete, mute or unmute notes. It also adds two conditions for less and equal than a velocity value and for a duration value. I made this mode for getting rid of unwanted false triggered notes when using an electronic drum set. Some of my drum pads generate unwanted short notes because of vibrations when they are hit with the drumstick. Please check out the subdivision user guide where I explain with more details all the parameters in this MIDI tool. Also, if you are on Mac OS, Check out my app AudioSif that transforms the MacBook's trackpad into MIDI controllers. My new AudioSif beta version also has custom scripts for Ableton Live that will help you with your workflow. I hope you have enjoyed this video. See you next time.